Welcome, Welltube family. My name is David Sidisa. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to do a simple 45 degree offset and how do we find the dimensions and takeoffs for that. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here we have a 45 degree offset. It's a simple 45 degree offset. Right now we have it in the horizontal plane here. And just to show you guys how it how it works here, basically offsetting a line from coming in this center line here over to this center line here using two 45s to connect them back. Here we have an example of a 45 degree offset drawn out. And you know, typically out in the field, you're gonna run into finding your runner, your set, and basically finding the center line of your first pipe and then finding the center line of your second pipe. And this is using a 45 degree angle here. Typically what you're trying to find is this distance here, the travel. That'll be your center line of 145 and the center line of your other 45. And in order to do this, you need to know either run or your set, or if you have the distance of the travel. There's various formulas that are found in our Chico cards and our Pipe Fitter Blue Book to be able to help us calculate that and find our, our dimensions. All right guys, so here we have our Pipe Fitter Blue Book. And on page 10, you can see here, we have our 45 degree offset here. Personally, I like to use the Chico cards. A little, they're a little easier to read and understand than the book, but this will also get you to the right place. So on page two, you can see here, we have simple offsets. And we go over for our 45 degree elbow, and it gives us various numbers for our formula here, that is right here. So depending on which dimension we already have that's known, either our travel, our set, or our run, we can use these formulas, multiply them, and that should give us our dimensions that we are needing. Typically, the run is usually known, usually on isometric drawings. That's usually how they come and they show you the degree of the elbow and that lets you know which, uh, which column to go to. It also does have for 60 degree, 30 degree, and 22 and a half. But right now we're just gonna be working with a 45 degree elbow. So we are gonna do a formula using if we know uh, our run. I'll show you guys how to find our travel here and then how to do our takeoffs for our 45s. Here we have our piping. See, this is gonna be our run here. So this is gonna be our center line here on this line. And we also have our center line here on this line. And what our run is, is, is gonna be our dimension straight across from this center line to this center line basically in this motion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like there. And that's what we mean by the dimension being straight across. And we had a run of 33 and, and uh, 13 sixteenths. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and figure out this offset here. I have a dimension here of our run, which is 33 and 13 sixteenths inches. And we are going to go ahead and do our formula. And to our Chico cards, we are gonna multiply this dimension times 1.414. And that's gonna give us our distance for our travel here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use our, our construction calculator here. These are nice to have. They work in fractions and they work also in decimals. And it just makes life a lot easier instead of having to do everything by hand. So we are going to go ahead and enter our number there, 33 inch and 13 sixteenths times 1.414. And that gives us a travel of 47 and 13 sixteenths. Go ahead and write this up here. 
47 13 16 pitch all right guys so we already have our travel here which is 47 and 13 16 of an inch as you can see here i already have this uh, simple offset laid out here on six inch pipe so i'm actually going to measure center of our 45 to center of our 45 which that is going to be our travel here in this dimension okay so that is going from center to center so in order to find our actual pipe size we are still going to have to do our takeoffs of our 45 one for this side and one for this side so it's actually going to be two 45s that we'll be removing to get our distance of pipe here and to figure that out we're going to refer back to our our chico cards here and we're going to go back to page 7a and as you can see here we are going to use c here which is showing a 45 degree elbow we are going to go down to the letter c and then come across to six inch pipe and that is giving us a takeoff of three and three quarter inches all right guys so we know our travel so now we're going to go ahead and do our fitting takeoffs for our 245s which i have shown here each 45 is three and three quarter inches that we need to remove on that length so i have it shown here two of them we've already go ahead we've already gone ahead and done the math and it came out to 40 and 5 16 of an inch and also to note guys when you're working with uh with tig you have to account for your gap as well so i took off an eighth inch for each side which gave me a total of quarter inch for our two welding gaps and doing our math our piece of pipe that we need is going to be 40 and 1 16th of an inch all right guys so we're going to measure out our piece of pipe here after takeoffs let me show you guys here so you're going to go there and we are very close maybe about a 30 second off is very very close to the dimension we need all right guys so my name is david sedisa showed you guys how to do a simple 45 offset if you guys want me to show you guys how to do reverse this and if you have the travel known how to do the run please let me know on my instagram or comment down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys to the next one